A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. An official investigation into the helicopter crash in May that killed Iran's President Ebrahim Raisi and seven other people found it was caused by challenging climatic and atmospheric conditions, Iranian State TV reported Sunday. The final report of the Supreme Board of the General Staff of the Armed Forces said the main cause of the helicopter crash was the complex climatic conditions of the region in spring. The report also cited the sudden appearance of a thick mass of dense fog rising upwards as the helicopter collided with the mountain. According to the report, there were no signs of sabotage in parts and systems. Razi died alongside seven others, including his foreign minister, Hossein Amarabalayan, in the crash in a remote mountainous area in northwestern Iran. The helicopter crash that killed Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi and seven other people in May was caused by challenging climatic and atmospheric conditions, Iranian State TV reported Sunday. The final report of the Supreme Board of the General Staff of the Armed Forces said the main cause of the helicopter crash was the complex climatic conditions of the region in spring. The report also cited the sudden appearance of a thick mass of dense fog rising upwards as the helicopter collided with the mountain. According to the report, there were no signs of sabotage in parts and systems. Razi died along with seven others including Foreign Minister Hossein Amarabalayan, who was 60, in the crash in a remote mountainous area of northwestern Iran. Turkish authorities released drone video showing a heat signature at a site in the wilderness that they suspected to be wreckage of helicopter. The coordinates listed in the video put the fire some 12 miles south of the Azerbaijan-Iranian border, on the side of a steep, forested mountain. Razi, a hardliner, had been viewed as a prog of Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, and some analysts believe he could even replace the octogenarian Supreme Leader when the Ayatollah dies or steps down. He was the second Iranian president to die in office. In 1981, a bomb blast killed President Muhammad Ali Rajai in the chaotic days after the revolution. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.